used to cost a nickel. And a bus ride only used to cost a dime. Lots of luck. Them days can be forgotten. The world has gotten rotten. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. Every day is getting tougher. And it keeps on getting rougher. A dollar isn't even worth a half a buck. Lots of luck. 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 I hate to give you this card, Arthur, because this is the card you need, isn't it? It's the card you want, and you're not getting it. Here. All right, I don't want it. You can't use this either. Gin. You got gin? You bet your eight of spades I got gin. <laughs> All right, what do you got? I got 11 cards. 11 cards? Give me that. Yeah, it's a missed deal. No, you missed out. No, you missed out. Hey, I'm not playing with you no more. I'm not playing with him no more. You stand. Oh, goody, then let's go to the movies. Oh, there ain't nothing good showing around. What are you talking about? They got some of those X-rated pictures we ain't seen yet. I ain't going to none of that filth. Well, I wouldn't mind. Arthur, you remember what happened the last time we went to one of them X movies? Forget about it, would you? When we got home that night, Arthur went absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he did everything but touch me. <laughs> Another big night for the love machine. Ooh, Stanley, guess what? There's a picture of Rick Ferris in the paper. Oh, he must be doing another movie, huh? No, no, it says that he's in town for a concert at Madison Square Garden. Let me see. Singing at Madison Square Garden, and to think when we knew Rick Ferris, he was just playing Nunzio Ferentino from down the block. <laughs> oh, he is so handsome. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember him having such a beautiful smile. That's because his old nose used to cover up his mouth. <laughs> Hey, Stanley, I'll bet if you asked him, you could get tickets to his concert. Yeah, hey, I'm not asking nobody for no favors. Why not? He owes you. What? What does he owe us? When you was kids, he used to eat practically all his meals right at that table. Sounds like a real freeloader. <laughs> he was just keeping the seat warm for you, Arthur. Hey, Stanley. Why don't you call him up and ask him for tickets? It says here that he is staying at the Waldorf. Come on. Stanley, I'll look up the number, okay? Hey, come on. He probably don't even remember me. If you won't do it for you, do it for me. Yes, yeah, Stanley, be good to your sister. I'm not good to her? Who pays for the house she lives in? The food she eats, the clothes she wears? Would you rather see me in the cold naked? Believe me, you wouldn't want to see that, Stan. <laughs> Here, here's the uh, number right here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, pronounce your name nice and slow. Sometimes you have a habit of mumbling. I only have a mumble when you bug me. That's my mumble. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Mr. Rick Ferris, please. <coughs> They're ringing the room. Hello? Mr. Rick Ferris, please. Stanley Belmont. I'm a former friend of his from uh, PS259 and the Utrecht High School in Brooklyn. Uh, not Delmont, Belmont. Look, uh, just tell him uh, it's El Chubbo. El Chubbo? Or as he is known better in this house, Flatbush Fats? It's going to be hard to talk on this phone when it's down your throat. Hello? Hello, Rick, uh, it's Stan. Yeah, he remembers me. How are you? Uh, as if I have to ask. Uh, yeah. Oh, she's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I was fine. Yeah. Oh, she's married. Yeah. He's in sleepwear. Nah, I'm not married yet. No. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's not why I'm calling. No, we still girl go, got girls like that in Brooklyn. Yeah. No. Um. In fact, Mom is standing right here. Yeah. He wants to talk to you. To me? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Just a minute. Hey, how do I look? Huh? Ah, it's just a phone. Oh, yeah. Hello, Nunzio. How are you? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you still don't remember my meatloaf. <laughs> you do? <laughs> well, I still make it the same way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Nunzio, that would be nice. Oh, we would like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nunzio. <laughs> Goodbye, Nunzio, or Rick, as the case may be. <laughs> we were through talking. I didn't even ask him about the tickets. Well, I didn't have to because he's coming here tomorrow night with them. What? He is coming to this house? Well, they are taking pictures of the old neighborhood for Nunzio's TV special. So he's coming here tomorrow night. Oh. Coming here tomorrow <laughs> night? <laughs> oh. If he is coming here tomorrow night, I gotta go to the beauty parlor so I'll look pretty. Olive, that's only 24 hours away. <laughs> I should have given you more notice. Hey, I'm giving you notice. When Nunz comes here, I want you out of that bathrobe so this place don't look like a convalescent home. Hey, I ain't putting on any ass for nobody. He can take me as I am. Arthur, the garbage man wouldn't take you as you are. <laughs> Hey, Stan, where are you? I'm in the back. Is it lunchtime already? Nah, I got one more run. I got some great news. What? A young lady's about to pay you a visit. Yeah? Yeah. Who? Oh, someone you've been dying to go out with who's always turning you down. Helen. No. Catherine. No. Gloria. No. Elizabeth? How many girls have turned you down? How much time you got? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. A certain young lady from the parts department who happens to have the best set of parts in the department. You don't mean Lois Gawant. <laughs> in the flesh. That flesh is coming down here. You got it. Uh, I want it. <laughs> she told me she is so crazy about Rick Ferris, she would give anything for a ticket to his concert. Oh, that's a very nice offer. <laughs> hey, did you tell her that I knew Rick? I thought I'd leave that up to you. Oh, good. Hey, uh, anyway, uh, Stan, you get her a ticket. She'll never forget you. Oh, Really? Lois is the kind of girl who really appreciates a favor. Oh, there's so little of that today. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks, Foamy. You're a real pal. What a friend for. Okay. Hello, Lois and Fellow Belmont speaking. Yes, madam. Yeah, we did. A bottle of pills was turned up. Stern's Pharmacy right here. Yeah, take one tablet every four hours till the ranch clears up. Yeah, we close at five o'clock. Listen, if the rash is spreading, I'll stay open until you get here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, madam. Oh, hiya, Lois. Hello, Stanley. How are you doing? Hey, Bummy says you have a surprise for me. Now, I cannot imagine what it could be. I haven't lost anything. <laughs> you sure ain't. <laughs> well, so what's the surprise? Oh, Lois, uh... Does the name Rick Ferris mean anything to you? Rick Ferris? I have been trying for weeks to get a ticket to his concert. Oh, yeah. Rick says they was very hard to get. Rick told you? Uh-huh. You talked to him personally? Oh, sure. <laughs> when a man calls you long distance from Hollywood, you can't hang up on him, you know? You know him that well? Oh, we're the best of friends. We used to go skinny dipping together at Coney Island. You saw Rick Ferris without his clothes on? Uh-huh. Oh, except he was just a kid then, you know, but I'll tell you something. Even then, you could tell he was destined for stardom. Oh, Stanley, well, if you could get me a ticket to Rick's concert, I'd kiss you. Oh, we'll discuss the terms <laughs> later, Lois. You mean there's really a chance I could go? Oh, yeah. In fact, you'll be going with me. Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, Stanley, thank you. Oh, what a tremendous favor that'd be. Tremendous, huh? Hey, listen, what would you do if I told you I could get you to meet Rick in his dressing room? In person? In person. Oh, 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 oh Stanley, oh, what a fantastic thing. Well, that's it, then. It's a date. It's a date. Huh? I'll be so grateful. Okay. Hey, I'll wear my pretty new dress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You ain't never gonna look any better. <laughs> Tragic, ain't it? Oh, oh, any sign of Rick yet? Not yet, Stanley. Oh, Stanley, ain't that gorgeous? Uh, just something I threw on. Or something you just threw up. <laughs> oh, 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 he's here! Oh, look at that limousine with the chauffeur. Wow. Ah, that's just one of those hired jobs. Anybody can rent them. 
Why don't you rent one when you go down to the clinic to get your salve? <laughs> He's my friend. Come on, you want to Hey, Mrs. Belmar, could Stanley come out to play? Nunzi, out trouble! Oh, oh, he's here, he's here. Oh, he's here. Oh, hello, Rick. Mom! Oh. No, that's Olive, Rick. Oh, of course it's Olive. Have you grown? How are you anyway? Oh, I'm fine. I've been taking dances. Ma, my sweet. Say, Mom, Nunzio, who's in charm from every gland? Oh, you're busy, beautiful. Rick, this here is Arthur. Arthur? My current husband. Except the uh, current's been turned off. Quiet, <laughs> Hey, Rick, that's a nice looking outfit you got. Did you get that in Hollywood? No, I got this from my tailor in London. You want the name and address? Yeah, I'd like that. Arthur always goes to London for his bear trope. It's just the way I remember it. You know, I never forgot the smell in this room. We had the man here. He said it was dry rot. I mean the combination of, of the oil cloth and the mothballs and the meatloaf. Oh, that... Well, we tried to get it out, but it's in the drapes. In the drapes. Beautiful, beautiful. Jeez, beautiful. Hey, you ever see any of the old gang around? Oh, yeah, sure. All the time. I mean, they still live around here, you know? That's right. Where would they go? Hey, hey, guess who I saw last week? Who? Doris Fisher. Doris Fisher, get out. I swear. Oh, Rick went with her the whole time he was in the 10th grade. <laughs> I don't remember her. She was the teacher, ma. And all my homework, and all my homework was done in her home. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, sit down, sit down. Tell us all about yourself. <laughs> Come on, there's nothing much to tell. Would you listen to Mr. Modest? I read all about your big house in Beverly Hills in the big swimming pool with the initials on the bottom that light up. <laughs> hey, it ain't all peaches and cream out there. We got our problems, too. About the swimming pool, huh? Listen to this. The pool guys come to empty it so they can resurface it with new tile. You know they gotta put in new tile once in a while, right? Oh, yeah, we just did that in the toilet. <laughs> Well, anyway, while it was empty, we had this heavy rain. What do you think happened? The rain filled up the pool again. No, 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 no. The rainwater comes up from underneath and pushes up. And what happens? I got a $50,000 pool sticking two feet up out of the ground. It's always something, ain't it? Yeah. Um, where do you swim now, Rick? Oh, I don't know how to swim, but that ain't the problem. It ain't? No, you see, on my birthday, I always throw myself a party. Uh -huh. It's been kind of like tradition now for a couple of years. Well, anyway, I got 200 people coming, right? Steve and Edie, Frankie, Dino, Sammy and Opu. I mean, where am I going to put them? Where would you put them? I wouldn't know where to put them. I would not know where to put those people. You got a problem, right? Mm, right. Well, I was thinking, and I was thinking. Finally, it comes to me. You know what I did? I rented a 747 and flew the whole bunch to Hawaii. That's just what I would have done. Yeah, me too, but my bus pass only goes as far as New Jersey. Beautiful. Same old job. Is he beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it's getting late. I gotta run again. Oh, oh no. Nunzio, can't you stay for dinner? I put Chianti in the meatloaf. I'd love to, sweetheart. I'm on a tight schedule. Oh, he's on, he's a, tight on a tight schedule. Come on. Come on, he's on a tight schedule. That man's a busy man. Okay. You know, it was really great seeing you guys again, huh? Oh, jeez. Huh? Are you All kids? Of... What a sight. Jeez. Oh, thank you, Rick. <laughs> so long, Arthur, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Mom. Oh, now, Nunzio. Now, you behave yourself. You don't go marrying everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, see beautiful. <laughs> El Chubbo. El Storo! <laughs> oh, oh, he's here. He's here. He's here. Oh, I almost forgot the ticket. Oh, the ticket. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't have to do this, you know. Will you stop? It's a pleasure. It wasn't easy getting them. Those are the last two tickets left in the whole city. Uh, the last two? Believe me, if the Queen of England comes tomorrow, she don't see Rick Ferris, huh? Ciao. Huh?
Hey. Ciao. Right. Ciao, hey. Hey, come on. What a sight for sore eyes. Hey, Rico, I love you. Look at that. He don't even have to open his own car door. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> El Starro. Two lousy tickets, some phony friend you got. Here. It certainly goes to Stanley because Nunzio is his good friend and he made the call. And for the rest of us, we will have a drawing. Wait a second, Ma, please. I already told a certain girl that I was... I need the other ticket. A certain girl? Yeah, and a promise is a promise. And a tramp is a tramp. Ma! Stanley, are you going to take a stranger or family? That extra ticket was bequested to one of us. Yeah, and us includes me. Hey, you should have had a ticket to get into this family. <laughs> That's so, huh? Yeah. Well, your sister's lucky to have me. What? I'm lucky to have you. Let me tell you something, Arthur. You stole my youth. I think somebody got there before me. Hey, listen. You watch your mouth. I'm up here. What is going on here? Sister against brother. Husband against sister. Mother against daughter. Brother against brother-in-law. Son against mother. Daughter against... Oh, okay, hey, you're coming in. We are going to settle this thing peaceably. Stanley, give me that extra ticket. I already promised this girl. Stanley. Mm -hmm. Ma, please. Stanley Livingston Belmont. Okay, okay, don't start with the middle names. Here, here, here. <laughs> now, I have got four pieces of paper, and I have three zeros on them and an X. The zeros don't get nothing, and the X gets the extra ticket. Now we will each pick one piece of paper. <laughs> Ladies first, Olive. I will choose. I got a zero. I'm out of the concert. Uh, sorry, Ma. That's okay. I don't enjoy having a good time. <laughs> a zero! Olive, there will be no whimpering or whining. It is written. I'm going to go make a sandwich. And now we shall see whether Stanley's date will be Arthur or the tramp. <laughs> Choose. <laughs> going to buy me a corsage, Stan? I'd like to buy you a wreath. Ticket. I want that ticket. You hear? Every weasel's got his price. What's yours? Fifteen dollars. Jeez. I... My price is eight. Twelve. Eight. Ten. Eight. Take it or leave it. And if I leave it, I'll put sand in your sand. <laughs> Oh, boy, that was some show, huh? Oh, yeah, and the seats were great. Oh, Stanley, what a night. Yeah, and it ain't over. Right, Lois? Right. <laughs> Ooh. Ready to go in? Oh, oh, in a minute. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to meet Rick Ferris in person. Oh, Stanley, how can I ever thank you? You're thinking in the right direction. <laughs> okay? I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> Yeah? Oh, uh, hello, I'm Stanley Melamond. I'm a friend of uh, Rick's. I was wondering if I could say hello. Melamond? Yeah. Belmont. Well, sure, come in. Oh, yeah, okay. Come uh, listen, we'll say hello, goodbye, then go to your place, okay? Oh, what? Whatever you say, Stanley. Okay, okay. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, look at all these famous people. Oh, and here comes Rick. Oh, I want to die. I want to kill myself. Wait a couple of hours. <laughs> El Chubbo. We could see everything. <laughs> He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. <laughs> see? Oh. Rick, I'd like you to meet Lois Gawant. Lois? <laughs> Rick Ferris. Hello, Rick. Well, hello. <laughs> Thanks for the ticket. A pleasure. Did you like your seat? Yes. So do I. <laughs> hey, hold it down a second. There we go. Oh. Somebody here you gotta meet. Oh, 
<laughs> this is Stanley Belmont. Oh, yes. The first, and looking at the rest of you, still probably the best friend I ever had. Oh, yes. oh come on. Yeah. Eddie Felky, my manager. Hello, Eddie. Hey. His wife, Joan. Joe Mahoney, hello. my PR man. Oh, hello. hello. There's something windy. Hello. Take a look. At, oh, Elliot Ferguson, my conductor. Hello. hello. Say hello to Angie. Hello, hello. And Jerry Goldfish, my fantastic drummer. Oh, hey, you were really just... Hi, how are you? You know, you were just terrific. I was watching you. And if I ever was a musician, I would be a drummer. Uh, crazy, man. Hey, what, what do you do, man? Oh, I'm with the uh, bus company. Lost and found. Lost and found. Uh huh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Man, man, you gotta specialize. Pick either lost or found. And <laughs> get creative. Right? Beautiful, beautiful. Uh -huh. Hey, Stanley, go get some champagne. Oh. Champagne. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> tell you why Hollywood is finished. Hollywood is finished because of the movies they're making. They don't seem to touch the people. You know what I mean? Right? Hey, the last movie I saw, there was a lot of people touching it. <laughs> you wouldn't think they could touch there, but they were... I'm looking for Lois. <laughs> uh, Eddie? Hmm? No, no, thanks, pal. I'm fine. Oh, no, no, no. I was uh, wondering if you saw Lois, you know. Lois? Yeah. Lois? Yeah. The bride you can't... Oh, yeah, yeah, she, she's inside. Thank you. Oh, that's uh, Rick's private room, buddy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. No, 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 no. Private. Private? Rick's <laughs> private room. <laughs> Lois and Rick. <laughs> private. <laughs> You got it. I sure did. You're a real pal, Stanley. What are friends for? Mmm. <laughs> 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 mm. This pizza is delicious. Yeah, but the pepperoni gets you right here. I'll be awake all night. Oh, really? I think that I'll stay awake with you. Forget it, Olive. I'll already be nauseous. Hi, Stanley. Oh, you're still up? Hello, Stanley. How are you? I'm okay. How was the concert, Mr. Selfish? It was a very interesting evening. I made one mistake. What? Well, I should have taken Arthur. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, that would have been some surprise for Rick. Here's your corsage. celebrating that ten of great years of TV, how it was meant to be. And the party goes on all year. On the 10th of every month, from January to October, you can watch ten episodes of the top ten antenna TV shows you voted for. This month, celebrate with ten back-to-back -back episodes of Alice. April 10th, starting at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on Antenna TV. Kiss my Korea.